Good afternoon, family. It's the Teddy Bear, and welcome to the zone of LOTO Radio on a magnificent Monday afternoon. I want to thank everyone for tuning in and tuning out all the negativity as we're being joined by the captivating and super talented singer songwriter, yes, Lord, Miss Melissa Morgan. It's a beautiful thing. My queen, how are you doing this afternoon? Hello, how are you? Are you good? <laughs> <laughs> You're looking as captivating as ever, my love. How's everything been going with you? Oh, everything is fine. I'm sorry I don't have my headphones, but I can hear you well. I just want to make sure you can hear me because we have uh we was in New Jersey, we had to pull over in the car. So I'm oh, sorry. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I understand. First of all, thank you for taking the busy time busy time out of your schedule and joining us. And also, you've been so busy. How did you find time to actually go in the studio and work on the new single? Oh, my goodness. Well, we was fortunate enough that uh, we started uh, writing that and, and doing the movie during the pandemic in 2021. So uh, it allowed us more time because things were shut down. And uh, we were fortunate enough to have uh, my uh, musical director, uh, Deverne Williams he has his own studio. So we went into his studio and, and recorded everything. And we loved the way it sounded in the beginning. So we just left it like that. <laughs> <laughs> well, it definitely resonates with your pure essence of soul, my love. You did a one you did a wonderful job. I gotta ask you, you've been in the industry for a long period of time, and now social media has become somewhat advantageous to get out and distribute your music. How do you feel about that as far as now being able to use the social media? Oh my God, we was just talking about that today with the song. Yes, because <laughs> <laughs> so well, cause just when, you know, there's like this thing called media base where you have to be a, a certain chart number media base to go to Billboard. Right. And, and and they was just saying, oh, you gotta you gotta pump up your social media more. You gotta you know your YouTube and your this. You got, and it's 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 just crazy because it, it's such a it's such a drastic difference between the majors and the independent. And now this song I'm doing now is is on my independent label, so Asylum. So you know you go from. Uh, the major spending a hundred, you know, hundred and fifty unlimited budget to get your radio and everything like that to an independent, you know, who might have twenty thousand dollars if they're lucky, you know, and and we're trying to figure out how to fill that gap. So it it, it you need social media from what they're telling me today. <laughs> yeah, I mean it's changed drastically, as you said. You know, when you were on a major label, you had the label behind you promoting, pushing your product yeah. in various cities, states, and countries. And now being an independent artist, you're doing it on your own. But I think it's a great thing because now it gives you complete complete creative control yes. over your music, the direction where you want your music to reach out to. And also, too, you're cutting out the middleman because all you have to do now is get a distribution deal. I know, but we still need that money. <laughs> <laughs> independent and the, especially the good songs like mine that are getting through you know what i'm saying and just need that one little extra push to get right up that hump on billboard or whatever we need to find a way to to make it be balanced in the industry that everybody can be heard yeah. right it's changed drastically i remember when you started and i touched upon this with some other artists i said you had sam goody warehouse records music land tower records and Yes. All, gone, all gone now. <laughs> all, all you have is streaming. Yeah. All you that. have is streaming and YouTube and and and, and the visual and, and and you have to make that turn into dollars. It, yeah. it, it really is such a different thing. Uh, Spotify and and getting views and subscriptions on YouTube. It it's a whole different game out there. But 
but uh, we're, we're learning quickly. <laughs> <laughs> hey, it's a big difference between once upon a time being interviewed with Lee Bailey. And we're talking about music and actually the concept of the project that you're working on now, everything is social media, you know, yeah. who you, who you're sleeping with, where you're going and all this. It's, <laughs> completely it's changed it has yeah, changed because it's just me and my cat and my fiance so i don't know if that's gonna help it's <laughs> <laughs> gonna help us on that one <laughs> yes lord <laughs> well let me ask you i said when i get you and i wanted to ask you this question have you ever thought about doing verses? Um, you know, the verses wants the most popular people. They want the people that they know, you know, is going to draw the most. But I would love to do it. Yeah. Well, I mean, Patty LaBelle has done it. I mean, you're up there. Gladys Knight has done it. I mean, why couldn't you do it? I mean, you have a terrific voice. I don't think that I'm up there like that. Come I, on. Come I, on, Millie. Come on. Stop. <laughs> That's why that's why Footprints of an Angel is clawing its way up 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 the charts now. They don't they don't think that we're up there like that. You know, me, you know, I, I don't know. And, and if I did verses, I always told people I would do a Regina Bell or a Mickey Howard, something like that. And and we have to fight for our rights. Yeah. <laughs> Incredible. Incredible. Yeah. Yeah, so, and, and, and even in the industry now, you know, because everything is is young, 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 and younger and younger and younger until you know soon they they're gonna have the babies singing. <laughs> they have the babies in the carry singing. Go, 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 go. Hey, I I I truly believe what Maurice White once said: "Stay young at heart, my love." That's all the matter. That's, that's all the matter. Talent overshadows everything else, and uh, that's true. It, it really is a, a different game out there because they was oh we're going for the younger and you know we're going for the the the, the this generation and and that it's people that that come from my generation that's in the game saying stuff like that because they just want to stay relevant and, and keep their jobs and stuff like that yeah that's unfortunate that we've gotten to that where we are now as far as quote unquote staying relative re, me <laughs> being relevant because what you're putting out is a bunch of superficial nonsense and that take precedence over someone that's bringing substance it as really, far as music is concerned. And it doesn't, it doesn't have to be that way. It really doesn't have to be that way. I know you've dabbled a little bit and I think you should dabble a little bit more as far as acting is concerned. And I want to find out, have you really, have you thoroughly gotten the acting bug? Do you take that more? You like doing that more now than as far as being an artist? Well, with this song, of an Angel, that is the title of the movie that I'm co-starring in with uh, Chrisette Michelle and, and some other really talented um, um, actresses and artists. Um, I, I really enjoyed it. I really did. I played uh, the part of a mother uh, whose daughter, you know, was out in the street doing the wrong thing and she had a couple of kids and she came back home and we were so glad that she came home and... Uh, as soon as she got her herself together, she found out she had cancer, and uh, I had to sing at my own daughter's funeral in the movie. So wow. that was uh, in, an emotional roller coaster, and that's what made me decide to to write Footprints of an Angel because I felt that we needed something like that in the movie to uh, be the theme song and, and carry it so people could understand it. And especially with the um, the pandemic, where we lost so many people. Right. We, so many people they're still losing people yeah we just um, recently lost uh michael henderson yeah it's it's yeah. been yeah it's, it's been rough it's yeah. it's been really rough but you just brought you brought up something very interesting yeah. and i wanted to find out from you have you thought about doing a virtual concert um someone approached me about that uh, we haven't gotten deep into it. Uh, someone approached me. I think they they did the um, what's that the 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 time life. Remember time life they had the virtual concerts and stuff like that. They were putting out and and you could buy the the, the CD or or DVD or whatever. Uh, mm -hmm. Someone approached me about that recently, but uh, we haven't dove into it um, to see if it's something that we want to do yet. But it would be nice. Yeah. 
I think it would be a beautiful thing because you have so many loyal supporters who love your music and to give them an opportunity to watch you perform live either on StreamYard, Facebook Live, Zoom, or even on Instagram. I mean, they would truly love it. So I got to ask, you know, you you provided us and teased us with a slice of cheesecake. So where can we get a full meal, a full album? When can we expect that? Oh, well, we're not, we're not doing a full album. We're doing an EP. Okay. Uh, so okay. We're, doing, uh, we're probably after Footprints of an Angel, we're going to probably release another uh, uh, single and another one. And then probably by uh, the summertime of next year, we should have it out. Yeah. Okay. Okay. What I'd like for you to do, my love, if you can give all the many listeners and supporters out there all the pertinent information, because I know the single right now is available on all digital outlets. Where can they get all information as far as being able to request <laughs> to see you live? We definitely want that. Oh, oh! you can go to my Melissa Morgan fan page. Um, I have all my events up there. Uh, you can go to my Melissa Morgan uh, Facebook, uh, Instagram. I'm always putting stuff, Twitter, LinkedIn. And just this is what you do. It's Melissa, M-E-L-I-S-A. M-O-R-J, and you can use the accent mark if you want to, but it's one L and one S, and that's the key. If you put that up there, then there's face of Papa. Yes, love it. <laughs> <laughs> that's a beautiful thing. What's next on the agenda for you? I mean, it's amazing. We're getting closer to the end of the year, and 2023 is right around the corner. Have you already set plans and goals for what you want to do or what you plan to accomplish in the new year? Oh, well, yeah, yeah. We've, we've got shows coming up. We're already booked, I think, almost a 2024 for Soul Train Cruise. Uh, um, I'm going to Dubai. Uh, really? Okay, okay. Um, I have a place in Aruba that I always go and celebrate my birthday at the end of the year. Uh, we'll probably bring in the new year, uh, maybe in Los Angeles or something like that. We okay, okay. Grammys, we're... We're going for consideration for, for a possible nomination. So pray for us with that and, and moving up the charts and just, just getting out there and letting people see me more and be aware we've got concerts coming up. So uh, if they just stay following me, I'll know where I'll be on Valentine's Day because I usually get booked on Valentine's Day and all that good stuff. So uh, just follow me on, on social media and I'll be more active. <laughs> We're going to hold you to that, my love. <laughs> We're definitely going to hold you to that. You know what? I know a lot of, um, as far as in the UK, they've always had a love affair with R&B music. Yes. What would you do? As far, I mean, have you had an opportunity brought to you as far as being able to tour in the UK? Oh, always. I've, I've been over there with Najee. I've been over there with uh, Melba Moore. I've been over there by myself. Um, uh, the last time I was, it was November. We did two sold out shows at the London cafe. So they're talking about bringing me back, uh, to do, um, Manchester and Paris and, and a whole bunch of good things. And they do these weekender things over there. So we're talking about that for next summer. So there's a whole bunch of good things. Oh, there's my fiance. If that's what you want to how you doing, brother? <laughs> All right, man. All right. That's the man right there. Right? Yes, Lord. <laughs> All right. And he is also um, a co-producer and, and co-writer of Footprints of an Yes. Oh, that's wonderful. Yeah. Oh, so that is in the family. It's all for love. Yes. All right. Well, my <laughs> love, hey, you know me. Whatever you need, please don't hesitate. To let me know we got you. You know, I love you. We support everything and anything that you do. Hopefully, knocking on wood versus come to fruition or the virtual concert. We would love to yes. see you perform, perform live. It's, you know, it's incredible. Yeah, that'd be really nice to do a verse with a Mickey or a Gina Bell or, you know, even Evelyn, Evelyn Champagne King, somebody that, you know, we can have fun with. Yeah. Now, I don't want you to go back over England and get too comfortable and say, you know what, I'm not coming back because Alexander O'Neill went and never come back. He stay, he lives in the oh, UK I, now. I do shows with Alexander. <laughs> back. I mean, I'm not. <laughs> Good people. Good people. Lord have mercy. Well, thank you, my queen, for taking time out of your busy schedule and joining oh. us. Continued success. We love you. And keep it soulful, okay? 
All right, thank you. I'm sorry I had to do it in the car, guys. Like, hey, it's no, it's no problem. But we got it done. But there but, you. Yeah. <laughs> All right. <laughs> the super talented Melissa Morgan here in the zone. No L O T O radio. Lord and mercy. Hey, you asked for it. We're gonna give it to you. Shaking but never stirred. It's definitely a beautiful thing. Also want to send out a very special thank you to the legendary Mr. Chuck Negron, of course, formerly of Three Dog Night. Thank you, my brother, for joining us on Friday. Yes, Lord. But you say, Teddy Bear, what, you, what else do you have for it? Oh, we got some more for you. I want you to join us tomorrow afternoon, 2 p.m. Pacific. 4 p.m. Central, 5 p.m. Eastern Standard Time as we welcome Dove, four-time Dove Award winning artist, three-time Grammy-nominated Grammy singer songwriter, of course, the captivating Crystal Lewis as we discuss her new album, Together We Can. Of course, made a little faux pas. That's 12, 12 p.m. Pacific, 2 p.m. Central, 3 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. I want to thank everyone again, again, for tuning in and tuning out all the negativity. Truly appreciate it. Much love to you. And also, by the way, we're doing this. I really want to send out a special thank you to the loyal listeners and supporters for an 11 year run. The teddy bear has been gone now for about two, about two and a half years. And I'm back. I want to thank everyone for the support and love for following us for so many years on blog talk radio. We're now at another level, and I really want to thank you and appreciate you following us and taking this ride and taking it to a whole completely different level. Be sure to catch up with us on Facebook, of course, that's L-O-T-L, The Zone. Also on Twitter at L-O-T-L Radio and Instagram, that's L-O-T-L Radio, The Comfort Zone. And we're also on TikTok, yes, Lord, at L-O-T-L radio and any donations that you want to make to the show of course for advertising and content we got you that's what we're here to do you can always send it to our cash app that's reginald bear that's that cash app that's at reginald bear we really appreciate the love and support that you've given us but in the meantime as always keep it soulful here in the zone of l-o-t-o radio lord have mercy